Hey, what's up guys? There's a lot of buzz nowadays around continuous integration, continuous delivery, specifically around automation, which up until now has been a challenge in the mainframe space. Today we'll look at doing some automations with the mainframe. We'll aim to show how with just a single click of a button, we'd be able to automate and perform several ZOS tasks using Zoe APIs and a bit of TypeScript and JavaScript. This automation will simulate some of the most common tasks a developer and tester would usually perform when coding, building, testing, and running a mainframe application program. So for the purpose of this demo, we've done a simple code change in Kix program EICI ACC to mask certain digits in the account number. So this program lists account details and balances via an API. So without any further delay, let's run our automation script. So this is what our automation script looks like. I'll talk about what it does as we are running them. So we initiate the script by clicking the ZOS automation npm script. Let's do that now. So the first thing it does is it does a compile of our TypeScripts. It does a hello world to indicate that our automation has started. It's doing a delete of a sequential file in the mainframe for housekeeping. It's doing a submit of our Endeavor job which would add and compile our EICI ACC program into Endeavor. It then calls an API which will trigger our Kicks API program. The next script would upload the output from that API into a PDS member on the mainframe. The next script would create a sequential file in the mainframe and upload that same output file from the API into that newly created sequential file. We'll also run a Java program on the mainframe and then download the input file and the output files from the Java program run into our local drive. And finally, we we'll do some compiling and running of some assembler program which would just do a simple hello world message. And finally, sends a message in our console saying that the automation has completed, which I see that it has right now. So by the way, we can also run scripts individually if you want to run ad hoc tasks. For example, if you want to run the Endeavor job on its own, we can just click this automation script, oh, this NPM Endeavor script, Let's clear the screen first. Let's do that now. So that would submit the Endeavor job for you. So finish with return code 4. And the output has been sent to our local drive job 09211. So if we have a look, our output folder 9211 our local drive you can see that the job was completed the reports yeah that's our program yeah. so we can run our api as well individually on its own to trigger our kicks transaction so let's do that so there we go so there's our change where we've masked the account number. So really this demo is trying to show the different ways that we can now interact with the mainframe using Zoe to help us automate tasks. So this will help us be more efficient by automatically submitting mainframe jobs, executing different kinds of programs like APIs, Kicks, COBOL, Java, Assembler, or even Rex create files and move them back and forth our Unix USS server 
the MVS and our local drives. And if you notice, we didn't even have to log into the green screens to, to execute all of this. So using this technology, performing automated system tests, integration tests, and deployments on the mainframe applications are really now within our reach. So I hope this demo helps to open us in exploring these new capabilities in our modern mainframe. This is now available in our environments. We have Zoe connectivity in our, in our IPO2 environment. So hopefully this can make us be more agile, enabling us to react and innovate quickly. So if you have any questions and are keen to know more about how to do this, you can send me an email or a message in Teams. You can also read more about modern mainframes at the Open Mainframe Project and zoe.org website. So these are their URLs. So would love to collaborate with you guys to help improve our process. Uh, thanks for watching. See you again next time.